Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting hair on this character and just taking a quick look around here. Okay, okay. I had to do a quick check around me for my dog. Um, okay, and <clears throat> I need to make a scalp first. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to make a duplicate of my mesh. And I'm going to hide everything. So just isolate, select, and let's call this scalp. Okay, and uh, then um, I want to get rid of some faces here. I don't need all these faces, so I'm going to find uh, some way to quickly get rid of things I don't need here. I'm just going to zip around here, <clears throat> delete this stuff. Okay, um, if I grab this, double click, this, double click, delete, delete. Okay, um, I do think my hair is going to come down probably this far, so I'm going to think about where the bangs are going to come to. <clears throat> and then here, let's go to the side view. And I'll hit if, if, frame it. And uh, let's see, the ears. Let's see, I want hair around here. So um, let's go and take this one, click to there, deselect that. Just gonna hit delete, <clears throat> delete, and what do I think about the back of the neck here? Probably don't need that stuff. And if I take this and I double click, I'm just gonna hit four, deselect this stuff. And okay, don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, something like that, and <clears throat> it's okay to have a little bit of extra, okay, um, more than you need, and you'll be happy. Um, also, the next thing I should do here is I should take this scalp piece, and uh, I should zip into my UVs, and in my UVs, you typically want to keep your um, UVs in the zero to one area, and I'm just going to go and hit it with a uh, uh, UV camera, ba or camera base, Bloop. and then I'll take <clears throat> these and I'm going to hit modify unfold. Okay, modify a layout, and with layout, um, I'm just going to go to legacy and I'll put it on free for the rotate and apply, and it just goes and rotates it off on a funny angle. I still have this habit um, of always <clears throat> having the UVs laying uh, like this. So they're all kind of in a common direction, kind of front to back. Okay, and then I'm going to turn the rotate to none, and I'll hit apply, and it'll fit in zero to one area perfectly. Um, there we go. And so that's done. And here, let's just grab this. And I'm just going to go in and delete the history. And also the transformations are frozen. Nothing weird going on. And so what, that took me like three minutes. <coughs> um, then... What I can do is uh, let's go over and I'm going to put on the X-Gen shelf and I'm going to throw on the X-Gen here um, and this one here will create a new description for me and let's take out, well we called the last one eyebrow description. I made a tutorial that you might see down here that says eyebrows and I forgot to put on the sound. So head hair description, something like that, that should be fine. Um, and I don't need to change any of these settings. I'm going to just live with it. Perfect. There we go. And now we got Greta does Stranger Things. Um, <clears throat> and so once I've got this, um, you could start to do some sculpting and things like that if you didn't want your hair to move. But if you want your hair to move, um, you want to do a few other things to this. And maybe even before I do that, I should, uh, before I do the next stage where I play with the guides and style it, I'm just going to go to the hair uh, head description. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in here to the density brush. And let's get the density brush. I'm going to double click on it, open it up. Make sure that symmetry world X is on. Okay. And I'm going to make my brush bigger. I'm holding down B on the keyboard. B for brush. And I hold down B and then I go side to side and I can kind of come in here and oh that's the maximum density is up let's turn that to zero and I can trim stuff away so these sideburns here are ridiculous 
Okay, and maybe here even. A little bit of this in the back of the neck. I could have almost kept a little bit more of my scalp piece here in the back. <clears throat> and I've done that. Now let's uh, put the maximum density back up. Maybe 200 or something. And, and I can paint my hair back in. And it kind of looks a little bit more natural. It isn't in a rigid uh, kind of cut off line. Okay, and I might want to stare at pictures of the back of Greta's neck. And... Uh, or stare at your own references of how your hair works in the back of your head or someone you know who looks like the person you're modeling or looks like Greta. Okay, and I'm coming down to the edge again and you can see that's kind of um, looks funny. Uh, I'm just gonna hold down shift. No, it's not shift, it's a control. Control will reverse that. Okay, so I don't want it to be, I don't want there to be an abrupt edge. I want it to look natural. Okay, and I should have my pure ref up on my other screen, but I don't. I'm just trying to whip out this tutorial really, really quick because I noticed the other one didn't have sound. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so good enough. <clears throat> now, let's close that down. Uh, what I need to do with this description selected is go in here to add modifier, and I'm going to go to guides. Okay, so we've got a guide now in the head description. I'm gonna go into the attribute editor for this thing. And <clears throat> if you go down here to input guide, you can hit create. Okay. And it's gonna create guides for your whole hair system. And it's hard to see what's going on. Maybe I have to go back one moment here. Uh, if I go into the hair description and I put on tube shade, I should be able to see all sorts of freaking guides all over the place here. Uh, tube shade, and we'll taper. There we go, they're hidden. So I had to taper this down. Remember that your hair on your head shouldn't be tapered all the way because then that becomes like fur, right? Because you have haircuts and this stuff gets chopped at the end. So you want it to taper down, but not be down to a pointy tip, unless you have like eyebrow hair or something like that. Um, and so I got that. I'm happy. I'm going to go over here to the guides. And now I can open up the guide section here. And you're going to see there's, uh, what is it, end guide here. So I can do things to my guides, taper the start and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> if I go to the end guide base, uh, you've got a thing here that shows you how many uh, guides you have. And what you can do is you can go to the density brush. I'm just gonna double click on the density brush and I can take the maximum density of my guides, make sure I've got world X symmetry on. I can just take it all down, I'm gonna take it away. So I'm gonna take it all away. Okay. And because uh, I'm taking it all away because these things come in and they're not symmetrical. So they're a bit of a pain in the ass, okay? When you're trying to work symmetrically you might decide that eh, I don't need to worry about that. And uh, yeah, you can totally do that. Uh, but <clears throat> I like to work symmetrically in this case here with this haircut. And also I might have like different, um, different hair descriptions for different sections of the head to kind of control it because that can make the life easier too. But we're going to make this all one mass here. Um, if I go in and I now go to the place brush, Okay, and the place brush, again, symmetry settings, world X, I just put that on. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna place down guides so I can place them down one at a time. Okay, and when I do that, they're coming in kind of short here. I'm just gonna undo that, undo. I'm gonna make my initial length in this case here. Let's just go to 10 and see what that looks like. Okay, so I can make the guides longer to start off with. Oh, that's wonderful. There. That's exactly the haircut I wanted. Um, and then I'll go in here and I'll put in, say, another one here and here. And that's enough to get me flying. Okay, so I've got just a few simple, simple guides. Um, and I can come back to those guides afterwards. But what I'm going to do is, let's uh, see, so you've got the brush on here. I'm going to make sure I'm over on the sculpt layer for the guides. Okay, remember there's a sculpt layer for your actual hair description, but there's a sculpt here and I can go to edit and I can go and get the grab brush. And uh, let's see what this looks like. Symmetry settings, world X, great. 
and I'll make my brush bigger. Oh crap, I just hit B and it switched. All these freaking sensitive hotkeys. But now I can take just a simple, simple guide and start to move it. Now, you notice when I did this, it got all funky pretty quickly. It starts behaving a little bit funny. Uh, if I take the tool and I make sure that collide with mesh is on, you'll see that when I move it, it won't, uh, or it will collide with the mesh and so it won't penetrate the mesh because that's kind of annoying. Okay, and la la la. Okay, great. The hairs, or these guides are a little kinky too. Um, remember that, well, we can change those afterwards. We're just going to get, if you want a finer tune from this, you can see all that kinky hair. I can fix the uh, curves on that afterwards so I can add more curve points. <clears throat> and here we go. And I should be looking at reference. Um, anything else I want to do here? Okay. And uh, let's see, what do we add? 11 minute mark. Okay, remember too that if you want to add in more guides, I can go back here to the base. It's all about the base. And I'm going to go to the place brush and I'm going to put on interpolate. If I don't put on interpolate, um, when I place a point, it's going to go straight out and it's going to look gnarly. So if I put on interpolate, it'll try to blend in with the other hairs around us. So when I do this, bloop, it'll automatically do that. And then I can uh, go in <coughs> and start to, uh, oops, crap, I think I just put it in another one. That wasn't, nope, no, I didn't. Okay, I can get the grab brush now. And so I'm already kind of working from a, uh, uh, an easy position to get to. And what's this one? There's some kind of uh, something funny going on here. I have to look maybe at the brush, uh, brush fall up, root to tip magnitude. Uh, fall off types on screen, volume, okay, well. And remember, um, too, that if you're having any issues with this, some of these hairs will be a bit of a pain. Um, what you can do is get the freeze tool, and you can come in here and you click on one of these uh, guides, and they turn gray, okay? And so now, let's see if I turn, say, this one gray, there's gray, and now when I grab the um, grab brush and I make it bigger when I pull it that other one's gonna get left alone so that can help you style um, and anything else I want to say and then afterwards I'm just gonna this is gonna take me a little while to make something nice this looks looks like it's needing things oh by the way the the snowflake brush here the uh, freeze brush you just go back to unfreeze all to turn that off or you can hold down control and that'll invert it too. But just remember that afterwards you're gonna go to the hair description and add, uh, maybe I'll do some kind of clumping effect. So we've got a clump thing and then I can go in here and I can also add things like uh, noise and um, we can start to play with some of these settings. But there, I've done it in 15 minutes. And now I gotta spend a little bit of time. Uh, maybe I'll even just kind of turn these off for now, like the clump off. And I gotta spend some time and, and start to style this. And <clears throat> I'll make another video of uh, another trick I'm gonna do for that freaking braid. Oh, the freaking braid! Okay, I'm gonna stop.